is the hottest thing circling the internet right now, so I'm going to do a look that's inspired by the work of Martin Cantos. Okay, so first things first, I'm the realist, just kidding. We've got to get rid of these bad gals. We're going to be using a washable Elmer School Glue purple glue stick. Go ahead and begin gluing your brows down. Make sure to slick every hair against your face. Then take a spoolie and brush the hair upwards. Take a wet q-tip and remove excess glue around the edges. This keeps it from getting too gunky towards the end. Now go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. To speed up the process, I'm using my blow dryer on the lowest setting to dry down the glue. Now using Kiss New York's translucent setting powder, I'm going to take a brush and go over my eyebrows just to ensure there is no longer any sticky residue. I repeat this about 4-5 to five times or until the surface of my brows feels smooth. I'm now going to take LA Girls Pro Concealer in orange and add a small amount to each eyebrow. A little goes a long way so do not use too much or you'll end up making the entire look orange. And go ahead and blend that outwards with a brush. This helps neutralize the dark color of your eyebrows so it doesn't show through your foundation. To conceal, I'm using the Crayon Case Conceal Me palette. Go ahead and sweep the concealer over your brows and blend it out. Now apply the concealer to your lid and blend that out as well. Hey look! My mom's here! Whoopee! I'm going to be using the Crayon Case Box of Crayons palette. Take the color brown and place it on the upper outer half of your lid. Now take the shade red and place it above the brown. With a smaller blending brush, blend the shades where they meet so they have a nice transition. Then take a clean blending brush and blend the red out towards the brow. Now take some concealer and a flat oval brush and cut your crease. With a pencil brush, add brown to the outer part of your cut crease at a diagonal. Do the same with red. Don't forget to blend. Using Artist Couture's Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Gold Digger, I am placing this pigment on the inner third of my lid. Don't forget to blend the colors where they meet. Using Mehron's Paradise Paint in white, I'm going to begin drawing out the large eyes. Begin by sketching out the shape. I'm using the bottom of my eye socket as a guide. I then begin to sketch the iris where my eye begins to bulge out. Now begin sketching a line straight across until it meets the inner corner. Extend the inner corner of your eye and connect both lines. You should end up with something like this. For my eyeliner, I'm going to use NYX Cosmetics Matte Black Eyeliner. I'm going to extend the wing out to where the tail of my eyebrows would be if I had them. I'm then going to bring the liner straight down. Continue bringing the line down past the inner corner of your eye. Now we can go ahead and begin filling in that wing. Go ahead and thicken the line connecting to the inner corner, but don't do it too much, make sure it follows the wing. Very carefully now with a black liquid eyeliner, outline the cut crease two thirds of the way. This will help give you a more dramatized, cartoony look. Go ahead and begin filling in the whites of your fake eyes. See, it's looking terrifying already. Now with Mayron Paradise Paint in yellow and Amazon Green, I'm going to mix the two colors so it matches the color of my lenses. Do 
taking green mixed with black from the Box of Crayons palette, I'm going to begin shading in the iris. This will give the eyes more depth and a more realistic feel. Go ahead and add white toward the edge of the iris and in the center. Then outline with black eyeliner. Now go ahead and repeat this process on the other eye. This is what you should end up with. Make sure to pay attention to proportion so the eyes aren't too large and engulfing your entire face. For my face, I'm going to be using CoverGirl's Matte Made True Blend in the shade T10. Go about your foundation routine as you normally would. Just be careful to avoid the eyes you painted on. I'm going to cream highlight using the same crayon case concealer from earlier. Using the crayon case contour notebook, I'm going to begin contouring my nose. You're going to want your nose to look fairly small, so make sure to define the sides of the bridge of your nose. Using the crayon case matte lipstick in the shade Gumbo, I'm going to begin outlining and shading around the eye we just created. To outline, I'm using a precision paintbrush. To shade while it's still wet, I'm using an eyeliner smudge brush. Then taking the NYX liquid eyeliner again, go ahead and outline around the eye. Again with the NYX liquid eyeliner, begin drawing on some lashes. You're going to want to create slightly curved triangle shapes. I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my fake eyes using the Gold Digger highlighter from earlier. Here I'm using the Gumbo Liquid Lipstick and a Precision Paintbrush to draw on my eyebrows. Brats have big, juicy lips, so with the NYX Retractable Lip Liner, we're going to overline our lips to the extreme. Remember, they got some fat lips, so don't go easy on this step. This is what it should look like, more or less. Next, using the Crankcase Murder Matte Lipstick, I'm going to fill in the entire space, and this will act as my base color. Taking care of your lip block in the shade Candy, I'm going to add that to the center of my lips. This will help bring out the lips more instead of it being one flat color. Blend out the color with either a brush or your finger. Zam! Okay, moving forward, I'm going to go ahead and highlight my cheekbones, my nose, and all that other good stuff using the Gold Digger Highlighter from earlier. And now for some extra drama, go ahead and highlight your bottom and your top lip as well. See, nothing like having VSL. It's like DSL, but for lezzies. Now I'm going to paint on some cherries using the lipsticks from earlier. Boom! Cherries. Final touch is lashes and I'm using Lena lashes in the style Sephora. You want your lashes to be dramatic AF so some regular dollar store strip lashes are not gonna cut it. Anyway, here's the finished look. Terrifying, right? And just like that, a new recipe for your nightmares. I remember doing the Bratz doll thing last year and it was trending as a Halloween costume. And you know how many people thought it was Photoshop and thought it was fake? And I'm just like, bishware. So this here, I am bringing it to you all raw.
Her name is Stay Glamorous Hair Extensions on IG or Stay Glamorous EB. I will put that all in the description box below if you're interested in getting just your own custom human hair unit because this is a custom 26 inch that she made and it's amazing and I love it so much. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Also, do not forget to follow me on IG at O'Malley so you never miss any of my looks. You want to get more of me? Go to IG. That was fucking corny. Okay. I love you guys. Have an amazing rest of your day.